Hello, my name's Pippa. I'm a physicist working at CERN in Geneva. We've built an accelerator called the LHC, and I work on the ATLAS experiment. We've made a pop-up book to try and explain what we do here. This is an aerial view of the Geneva area. The LHC tunnel is 100 metres underground. It's 27 kilometres long. So this is the main CERN site, and I live over here. It actually takes me 15 minutes to get to work, even though I'm setting off from somewhere in the middle of the ring. Underground, we've got four big caverns with experiments that try to detect the results of colliding protons together at very high energy. In the LHC, bunches of protons go around in the two opposite directions, and they're allowed to collide inside the Atlas experiment. If I was to go and look in this big surface building, I'd be able to see two big access shafts, and that's where we lowered all the pieces of the Atlas experiment down 100 metres underground and then put it together. The bunches of protons come in from each side and collide right in the middle of the experiment. And then we have layers of detectors wrapped around this collision point at the centre to try and see the results of the collisions. Now, the five star. So this is a model of Atlas. You can actually build Atlas for yourself. You've got all the pieces you need here. You can see these muon chambers. They detect the particles that escape all the way to the outside. But the beam pipe's going through the middle. So what have we got in the middle to detect the particles? The inner detector is right in the heart of Atlas, and the innermost layers are made of pixels, silicon pixels, a bit like you'd find inside a digital camera. There are 80 million pixels, which is not so many more than in a normal camera, but we're taking 40 million pictures a second, so that's an awful lot of data that we have to get out. Look at that. That's a cutaway of the middle part of the Atlas experiment, and this is what I work on right at the center here, the inner detector. So that means we've wrapped around the beam pipe with lots and lots of cylinders. Well, what are we going to do about the ends? Particles could still fly out of the ends, so that's what these pieces are for. Each of these um, end cap toroids weighs about 250 tons. We actually had to get a shipyard crane to lower them. There's one to go in there, one at the other side. But we actually want to be able to measure the track of the muon chamber, so we don't just need one of these big wheels, we're going to have to put another one so we can actually measure the path that the muon's taking as it flies out of the detector. So this is the very last bit to plug on. And again, it's one at each end. So there you go, you've built your own Atlas detector, and that took about, what, a minute? But in real life, that took us something like 15 years from starting the very first test to finally having the detector assembled underground and ready to take data. We're really excited this year because we're hoping that the LHC is going to start up in just a few weeks' time and we'll see the first real collisions inside Atlas. So what have we built Atlas for? Each time the protons collide together, what we're trying to do is create the conditions a fraction of the second after the Big Bang and try and make particles which were around at the time of the Big Bang but don't normally exist in everyday life. One question we don't really know the answer to is why do fundamental particles actually have any mass? Why do they weigh anything at all? So that's one thing we're trying to find out in Atlas. But also in the universe, there's a problem of missing mass. So one thing we're hoping to do at Atlas is to actually make particles of dark matter so we can understand what the majority of the universe is made of. And if you want to know about all the other mysteries that Atlas is going to solve, well, you're going to have to buy the book. <laughs>